we're asked to list the x values where the function has discontinuity and then state the type of discontinuity. So looking at the rational function, we may be thinking we need to set the entire denominator of one plus e raised to the power of four divided by the quantity x minus two equal to zero and solve, but in this case that's not going to work and let's see why. If we set one plus e raised to the power of four divided by the quantity x minus two equal to zero and try to solve, we would subtract one on both sides, which gives us e raised to the power of four divided by the quantity x minus two equals negative one. From here, if we think about the values we get when we raise e to a power, the values will always be non-negative, meaning e raised to the power of four divided by the quantity x minus two is always going to be greater than zero, and therefore it's never going to equal negative one. It's also true in this form, the exponent will never be zero, and e to the zero is one, and therefore e to the power of four divided by the quantity x minus two also won't equal one. In either case, we cannot find the discontinuities by taking this approach. But again, we know division by zero is undefined, so now if we focus on the exponent of four divided by the quantity x minus two, we know x minus two cannot equal zero because if it did, we would have division by zero in the exponent. So to find the discontinuity, we need to set x minus two equal to zero and solve. Well, of course, solving we get x equals two. The function has discontinuity at x equals two. Let's go ahead and record this. And now when classifying the type of discontinuity, we're often asked to determine whether the discontinuity is removable or non-removable. Removable discontinuity occurs at x values that are zeros of the denominator as well as the numerator, meaning when the numerator and denominator have common factors. And non-removable discontinuity occurs at the zeros of the denominator that are not zeros of the numerator, meaning where the factors in the denominator are also not factors in the numerator. So in this case, notice how x minus two is not also a factor in the numerator, and therefore the discontinuity at x equals two is non-removable. However, there are two types of non-removable discontinuities. One is jump discontinuity that results in a vertical break in the graph, and the other is infinite discontinuity that results in a vertical asymptote of the graph. So to be more specific about the type of non-removable discontinuity, let's take a look at the graph of f of x. Looking at the graph, notice how we have jump discontinuity, not infinite discontinuity, because we have a vertical break in the graph, not a vertical asymptote. So to be more specific, at x equals two, the function has jump discontinuity. From a calculus standpoint, jump discontinuity results in a vertical break in the graph, and the one-sided limits exist, but they don't equal each other. So for example, looking at the graph, notice as we approach x equals two from the left, we can see the function value approaches positive two, the limit from the left exists, and as we approach x equals two from the right, we approach the function value of zero, the one-sided limit exists, but the two one-sided limits don't equal each other, giving the function jump discontinuity at x equals two. I hope you found this helpful.